I look forward to the games. I look forward to the first game against Korea on the 29th of July at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. And the 30th of July at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, we're playing the United States. So those are the first two games that we know about. Looking forward to that and looking forward to winning at least one of those two games, maybe both. I was born in New York and lived here for 25 years until I moved to Israel 32 years ago. So coming back to New York is really coming home. Five years ago, we were here at the qualifiers, the WBC qualifiers, and there are some very, very good memories here. It's changed a lot. I mean, first of all, the guys we came out in the field with are not American Jews, but they're Jewish Israelis. And they've all taken on citizenship in Israel. In addition to that, very significantly, we have 10 players here from Israel who are Sabras, who are native Sabras, who grew up in our program, in the national team program in Israel. And we're here now to, to absorb and soak in some of that knowledge from the professional baseball players. We're great ambassadors for the game. It's all gonna work and we're extremely excited about it. It's hard to say what the Olympic Committee is looking for when it comes to baseball because there aren't 200 countries that play baseball, you know? I think if we go out there and do our job and the 24th ranked team in the country can medal in a sport that is usually dominated by America's, the uh, Japan's, the Korea's. It shows that it's not just a sport dominated by the top, right? There is a chance. It's an incredible honor. Israel's a very special place. I'm proud to be representing the country and proud to be a part of it. Enjoying the week that we're gonna have here with exhibition games and take every exhibition game in, in stride, get better, get our bodies in shape. It's really cool to, to sort of feel like I'm still a part of New York and, and it's always very cool to come back and sort of feel like a second home to me. I think that everybody understands the weight of the situation and how many people we get to represent. You know, it's not just a country, it's a whole religion. We had an uphill battle, there's no doubt about it. We came out of the European Championships with a lot of confidence knowing that we could compete with the teams we were about to face again. We played good team baseball just at the right moment. We had great pitching and timely hitting in that tournament in Italy and that's why we were able to capture the Olympic bird. It's a pretty cool feeling. It's a very unique bunch and I'm very grateful for it. There is something special just having 24 guys with that common identity between their Judaism, their baseball. It brings together two things I didn't think I could combine in my lifetime. One of my teammates, Zach Penfraz, he's a mental skills coach and one of the things that he talks about is to cancel expectations. And I think that's been so important for this Olympics and last year being postponed is, I just wanna go in there with no expectations because I'll believe it when I see it. Obviously it's very exciting. It's a fun in the locker room. It's fun being in the dugout. It's fun being out in the field with these guys. And that, that team chemistry is not something I've felt in a lot of, in a lot of clubhouses. We get along great. It's it's like you've known these guys for your whole life, really, which is super weird. But it's been it's been a very easy experience. It's great chemistry, and and we're all enjoying the experience and and trying to just have fun as much as we can. This is an opportunity to put baseball at the forefront for the country of Israel and for the youth, and give them another option to get outside and, and play sports and be active. I love baseball, I think it's a great sport, and I think that the youth of Israel can really grab a hold of it and, and realize that it's a great sport. It means so much to me. I grew up Jewish. I'm from Westchester County, New York, so it's pretty cool to be playing back in New York near home in front of family and friends. The goal is to win a gold medal, and it's continuing to grow. I mean, you see the younger Israeli guys that are here helping us out this next few weeks and just help to help continue the game, like spread awareness that there is baseball in Israel. I think us all playing for something that's bigger than ourselves, Israeli, these Jewish people all over the world is something that you know really unites everybody. We all have something in common. For the Israeli baseball players that are out there, it shows that baseball is a global game. Anybody can be good at baseball and be found. I used to play for the New York Mets. I was a Jewish minor leaguer. There are very few of us. Pretty much most of them are here right now. I play professional baseball because I just happen to be at the right place at the right time. And so some of these guys that are here are really, really good baseball players who just need a look to be able to go win a medal in the Olympics. It's what every baseball player dreams of. My dad is uh, Israeli born, and my mom did Aliyah when she was 30. This is my first and probably my last Olympics, so I'm gonna enjoy what it is. I mean, from you know, a couple of kids playing with oversized gloves and you know, uh, undersized baseballs and with no fields, no mounds, to competing in the biggest stage, really making some noise, trying to win a medal.